Hey, what's up guys? This is Brooklyn Prepper. This is Prepper Tip Number 3. Okay, my Prepper Tip Number 3 for you is find bargains, right? I was at a Dick's Sporting Goods store, right? And uh, I was looking for a tent, right? And, you know, a lot of things were expensive, uh, you know, I you know, didn't like a lot of them. And there was a floor model there, right, that he was, he had there. And it was a little damaged, right? So I bargained with the guy. <clears throat> And I got this tent right here. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it yet until I show you the, it's, uh, show you the whole tent assembled. All right? But the moral of the story, believe me, sometimes you could bargain and get really, really a really good deal. All right, guys? So I'm going to bring this tent to the back. Me, my son, my wife, my kid, my daughter. We're going to put it up, put it together, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right? I'll be back in a few seconds. All right. I'm riding on passenger. I got my son riding on the quad. We're gonna go down to a, a local farm we have around here. You know, I guess that's another prepper to, tip for you too. All right, is uh, support your local farmers. All right, boy, take it away. It's a beautiful day. All right, watch the cars. There you go. Alright, there we are on our way. Alright guys, I just wanted to give you another little tip inside the tip. Right? Support your local farmers. Alright guys, see you in a little bit. With the tent set up. We're gonna camp out tonight. How you doing? Alright, so that's the front. Look at the size of this tent. I'm just going to see if I can give you. This is a, an eight-man tent. Alright? I'm not going to tell you how much I paid yet. <laughs> Alright, let's spin it around, son. Get in there! <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, we got the uh, main support beams up already. Okay, now we're going to work on the side supports and everything that brings the whole tent out. Which I liked about this tent, it was pretty cool so far, right? Is the way you uh, put the bottoms in. You don't got to just, you got this little, uh, let me see if I can do it with one hand. Oh, oh. Okay, hold on. You got this little like spike thing that just goes into the bottom of the, the uh, rod and it holds it pretty good. You know, real simple to, uh, to get up. It just slides right in the bottom. Let me show you. And it's done. Alright, so I got these two big ones up now. Let me pull back. And uh, I'll be back with you in a second to see the, the other parts done. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you this too. It's a field and stream. Right? It's 1871. Not only did I get a good deal on this tent, it's an antique. There you go guys. It's done. My bargain tent. My prepping bargain tent. I hope you're not getting the glare from the sun here, but hey. Alright, there it is. So I got uh, I got it all set up. I put the big canopy on top. Got all the tie rods in, down over here if you want to tie them up. You got strings to make sure you get more support. Right? Got all my rods up. Got another little rod that went in the middle. Right? Uh, got windows. I got one window in the back and a window on each side and they close up. The prepping bargain tent, you know. All right, I'm gonna tell you how much I paid for it. Okay, you know, considering it, it was an antique made in 1871. I think I got a really good deal. I paid 20 bucks for this thing. Eight man tent, 20 bucks. You could stand up in it. All right. So this is the story. All right. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods store, right, and I was looking for tents. Right. So the guy was showing me some floor models, and he showed me this tent. Right? I forgot how much he was asking for, maybe a hundred and something dollars or whatever it was, right? And then I noticed it had this big tear on the bottom. See the tear? Boo! Right? So the guy in the uh, Dick's Sporting Goods store, the manager, he turned around and he said, uh, Ah, you don't want this. It's got a big tear on it, right? So I'm just going to take it down and 
we'll just get rid of it. So I turned around to the guy, kidding around, kidding around, right? I told the guy, hey, go, don't throw it away. I'll give you 20 bucks for it. He said, okay, let's help me take it apart. So I helped him take it apart, and I got this big tent here. Look, it has a little awning, right? In case it rains, you can sit under the awning, right? It's a nice little tent, right? But I figure I'm just going to sew this back, sew this whole thing up here, sew this back on here. It can't be too hard, you know, with my sewing skills that are not that good, but I'm going to give it a good shot. And, you know, I could maybe even get some fabric tape, too, on top of it after I sew it. And just uh, put some fabric tape on it also. You know, fabric tape, you, you put it on and then you iron it, and it really bonds to the fabric. All right, so, hey, you want to come inside my homestead? Hold on. Let me uh, let you in. Hold on. I can't believe I got this thing, and it being an antique. Holy moly. All right, welcome to my homestead. All right, you could stand up, you know, right in here. I'm eight feet tall, so uh, I could stand up fully in here. <laughs> I'm only kidding. But it's about, um, I say it's about seven feet inside. All right, you got your windows. You could close them up, right? You got plenty of room for people to hang out. You could put a little table, and especially my family. I got, I got a family of four. This is going to be a, a lot of room in here. The only thing I wish it didn't have a divider that uh, we could make two rooms, but... You can't have everything for 20 bucks, right? But anyway, this is the inside. And it's pretty cool, man. All right, the moral of the story is, you know, look for bargains. Maybe go into, like, uh, some stores sometimes and ask for the floor models, especially if they're going to start taking them down or their discontinued model. And you never know. You might be able to get one for 20 bucks like I did. You know, especially if it has damage. Once it has damage, believe me, what these people are going to do is roll it up and throw it in the garbage. So he made a $20 sale off it. Maybe he became the manager of the month. Hey, they sold that tent with the tear mark in it. Make Bill the manager of the month. All right? But that's what I got. You know, Dick Sporting Goods lost my game. All right, guys. Live for today. Prep for tomorrow. And that's prepper tip number three. Always look for bargains. You can save a lot of money. Especially when they're antiques. I can't believe it. 1871. Wow.